Welcome back everybody, I'm bringing you more of that metal fight goodness. Um, if you have not watched my video on the Samurai Ifrit, which I just posted on the channel, please go watch it, it was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm bringing you more metal fight content in the form of what is in this package. And as you can probably tell, we have a Shogun Steel Beyblade. Like I said prior in the video, in the prior video, 100% Shogun Steel was my favorite era of Metal Fight. The system was awesome. The bay design was just out of the water. And the parts were actually pretty cool too. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at our boy Ninja Salamander. So the element wheels. What I did not go un over last time is you have a couple different element wheels. You have the Ninja we got, we got the warrior, oh my god, we got the samurai element wheel last time. Now we're getting the ninja, and I'll show you the difference of that here in a minute. But yeah, ninja salamander, I have had this ver this bait in the past. Um, I had the actual colored version of ninja salamander, which I believe was orange, and then I did have the red ifrit at one point. The parts broke, you know, long story short, everything got broken. So, you know, they just got thrown in the trash. Um, so it is nice to have this bait again. So let's flip it over. All right. So we get our Shogun face bolt, which is our salamander. Our, <clears throat> our um, salamander warrior wheel, our element ninja wheel. Then we have our spin track, which is SW145. And then we have our performance tip, which is um, semi-defense, short defense, sharp defense. Um, and this is a balance type. So yeah, very nice. Let's unbox it. Looking for my box knife here real quick. Um, yeah, so I'm bringing you guys more content. Like I said, yesterday I was going to try and make you guys one more video, but it just didn't work out. So I figured I will bar bombard you all with videos today. All right. So our Ninja Salamander. Super excited. I also loved the packaging design for these too. It was just out of the water. Just super nice, super aesthetically pleasing. Um, even the way that they did the packaging setup too was nice before i did that you know you get you get everything stacked up nice and neat like that and it's not overly done oh, hey, we got another card yeah so like i said these cards had a code on the back that if you went to the hasbro website you could digitally unlock that beyblade that site is no well the hasbro site is available but the shogun steel version of that site is no longer available all right so let's get these parts out of the packaging and we will have some fun all right so ninja salamander so if you don't remember in the last video we got these this red on red rip cord and launcher scheme now we have this really matte grayish blue with an orange rip cord kind of cool not gonna lie that is actually really cool i like how they did that um so yeah very nice we get a i don't even think i've ever seen this color before the ripcord i've seen but the the color scheme for the launcher i don't think i've seen that before um because when i had my ninja salamander i had bought it used in a lot set from a um thrift store and that's how i obtained mine all right so, we have our ninja wheel, our salamander wheel, our salamander face bolt. Look at that thing. That thing is super sick. And then we have our sharp defense. Yeah, so it's sharp defense, you guys. And then we have our spin track. This thing's pretty cool, too, because you could flip it. So, it came stock going rotating clockwise. Now, then you can also flip it. To make it go to make the um wind resistance counterclockwise to add more of i think it's a, supposed to be a smash ability um because you know if it hits this blunt edge it's more of a smash than a um than a barrage whereas you do it this way if 
I remember right, this is more of a barrage, supposed to like wind attribute for barrage or something like that. But yeah, pretty cool. Um, so yeah, let's go over. We'll take one of the Efrits apart and I'll show you the difference between the element wheels. <clears throat> All right, so we have taken apart Efrit, right? So here's our samurai wheel, right? Very nice, very circular, not really cut out too much. Um, kind of looks like Wizard Arrow. <laughs> it's Wizard Arrow's preform. <laughs> All right, and then we get into this monstrosity, which is the ninja wheel. Look at that thing. That thing is, that thing is interesting for sure because it's got more jagged edges, more bumps, um, you get a round bit right here, whereas it's a sharp right there. So yeah, very cool. Very cool that there is a difference between the wheels. All right, let's put Efrit back together. Actually, I'll leave Efrit apart. Um, so yeah, now let's assemble this bay real quick. I'll show you the full bay. And then we I can actually show you the full combo for this Synchrome, which is Efrit Salamander. Or if you if you like it the other way, Salamander Efrit, which you just put Salamander on top. But in the anime, it's always Efrit Salamander. So yeah, we put the face bolt in right there, make that all nice, lock slightly locked in. Now we go through fully lock it in. Just give it a little bit of a twist right there. Nothing too crazy. Nine times out of 10, these spin tracks you can get on with just your hand. And yeah, there is our Ninja Salamander. Super cool. Like I said, the Shogun still has always been one of my favorite seasons of Beyblade. Now then, what we can do now, now that we have all of our parts, right? We take our Efrit Warrior Wheel, stack it on top of the salamander warrior wheel and then we use the rest of efrit's parts and now we have there we go and now we have efrit salamander for the synchrome bay now this is the actual full combo for the synchrome which is ninja uh which is salamander efrit so very nice, very cool. Um, you want these clawed ends. Well, obviously there's only one way to do it, but yeah, it it's pretty cool. It actually complements very nicely. Um, it closes these gaps right here, makes it fully circular on the bottom. So any attacks coming from the bottom, it's just gonna kind of ne negate or anything uh, mid height is really just gonna negate and block off. So yeah, that is uh, Efrit Salamander. Now you could also do it the other way where you stack, which I think this one's also pretty cool. So you would take um, Salamander, place it on top, and then you'd put Efrit underneath, and then you'd have Salamander Efrit. And honestly, I've seen a lot more people use Salamander Efrit than Efrit Salamander, just because on the bottom, um, it actually kind of helps with um, counter attacks more or less than um, evade attacks because these blunt edges right here that are kind of concaved in and stuff like that, bays coming from underneath get hit harder and it kind of just like smashes it into the ground. So yeah, I have seen people use um, salamander Efrit more than Efrit salamander but that's not why we are here so let's put these bays back together oh yeah and then just to show you real quick just to show you what ninja Efrit would look like if you were to use the ninja wheel that is what ninja Efrit would look like and then we have samurai salamander which that actually kind of looks pretty cool too samurai salamander so yeah there's tons of possibilities and like i said before in the last video is just a shame that they made this series so short um because honestly they could have built on top of it as a separate generation um like it could have started out as an add-on to metal fight and then worked its way into its own 
um, generation rather than be a little mini series aside from Metal Fight. Um, because then we would have never gotten the nasty, like, Bay Wheels, Bay Raiders, or whatever the heck it was called. Like, we would have never got those. I and mean, we all know how we feel about Bay Wheels. Especially Bay Wheels. Bay Raiders! Bay Raiders was alright. It was, like, it was interesting. I get where they were coming from, but I'm like, you guys, leave Hot Wheels to Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels tried to copy you guys, and you guys just tried to copy Hot Wheels. <laughs> so... I mean, it is true. Hot Wheels did have their own form of Beyblade for a while. But yeah, Ninja Salamander. So unfortunately, we will not be using the stadium that I had been using before. Um, I was moving some stuff around and something fell on it and broke it. So we will be going back to using the um, Pro Series Stadium for a minute until... I get a new one delivered, which hopefully won't take too long because they are only about $10 and I bought this one on eBay rather than buying it from Ally Express, if I remember right, or was it Ally? No, yeah, it was Ally. So I did buy it on Ally. It took about like a week and a half to get there. So hopefully about another week and a half, we'll have another one of those. I might order two because there is a transparent blue one that I would like to put lights underneath. That way we could do some cool, aesthetically pleasing metal fight battles. All right, three, two, one. Well, that happened. <laughs> so yeah, Ninja Salamander. Such a cool bay, you guys. Like you give it a little bit of a bump test and it just kind of goes back to where it was at before. All right, so let's get into some battles. Um, and it's going to be the same thing as before. Let me go ahead and take this off the launcher grip. My launcher grip's seen a lot of use, so that tab flies off all the time. So we have our Ninja Salamander facing off against our Aferno Sagittarius. Three, two, one. Oh, I said Eferno. It's Inferno. Inferno Sagittarius, which I think this is supposed to be uh, Hasbro's version of pre-hybrid Sagittario. Because honestly, if you look at the pre-hybrid Sagittario, it does look very, very similar. The parts are almost, the parts are exactly the same. Honestly, the only difference is it has the element wheel and the fusion wheel. So... Um, I believe it's their take on pre-hybrid Sagittarios. Let's do that battle again. Let it rip. Let it rip. Sagittario just hops over Salamander. I believe Sag... Oh, this time Salamander gets a ring out finish. All right. We are going into round three, you guys. Three, two, one. Another victory by Salamander. Moving on, we are now going into my favorite bay, Spiral Fox. Oh, you know what? We'll do the weight test after. Um, yeah, like I said, Spiral Fox has always been my favorite metal fight Beyblade. I know everyone's gonna be like, whoa, what about El Drago? Medio El Drago is my favorite El Drago. I mean, you can't you can't get any better than adding bearing and medio l drago together and then just being like hey guess what i can spin steel and spin forever <laughs> all right three two one and spiral box Ooh, almost a ring out at the beginning and plus i love the fact that hasbro's spiral fox is just so tanky um i don't ever remember seeing a takara tomi version of spiral maybe it was locked in some sort of um triple set or something like that but i just like i said i don't remember ever seeing a spiral for takara tomi um i know that there's fakes out there that will be like oh it's takara tomi packaging but it's got a weird label and stuff like that that's a fake brand you guys um but yeah spiral fox is just so heavy spiral fox takes that first win moving on to round two
and Spiral Fox takes a win. Very nice. All right, now we are moving on to Samurai Pegasus. All right, Samurai Peg. I mean, not Samurai Pegasus. Is that Cosmic Pegasus or is that Wing? Cosmic Pegasus. Three, two, one. Cosmic Pegasus versus Ninja Salamander. Oh man, Ninja Salamander with a stamina finish. All right, let's give Storm Pegasus another go and see if it can beat Ninja Salamander. We'll do more of an angel launch there. Get that flower pattern going rather than a circle. Oh man, it looks like it's Ninja Salamander again. Ninja Salamander. Unfortunate for you Storm Pegasus lovers. All right, Medio L Drago. I did not forget this time. <laughs> Medio L Drago. Three, two, one. Ouch. Very nasty start. Medio L Drago landing on top of Salamander. L Drago just going for them hits. I believe I have El Drago in barrage mode, not spin steel mode. I'll have to check. Oh no, I have it in spin steel. So yeah, I have it in spin steel right now, not barrage. So yeah, that's why it's doing pretty, pretty top tier right now. It'd be doing good just in barrage mode as well, but spin steel mode is pretty, pretty OP. Three, two, one, we'll do another round. Uh, this time El Drago does not land on top of Salamander. Just pushing it around the stadium. Uh, now we got the flower pattern. Salamander is off of its axis. Medio El Drago coming in for the kill. Does it accomplish? Medio El Drago for its second win. <laughs> one win, one I mean one loss, one win. One loss, one win. <laughs> all right now it's efrit efrit versus salamander and then we'll do efrit uh efrit efrit versus salamander i feel like that'll be a and then i'll flip this around too giving it the other uh spin direct the other attribute for the spin track all right three two one Oh, and Ifrit takes a spin dive into the abyss. All right, three, two, one. There we go. Oh man, Ifrit taking a loss. All right, now it's gonna be our new uh, samurai Ifrit facing off against our salamander. <laughs> that spin track circle flat you guys is just a horrible spin track it's it's nice in the actual stadium for the zero g because it catches that lip and it stays in rather than injecting itself out but all right we'll go one one more time this time i'm switching up the launcher Ooh, Efrit saves itself very nice. That's kind of like a little drift maneuver. Sort of like Satoom, basically. All right. So now let's take the Efrits apart. Do Efrit versus Efrit, Efrit versus uh, Salamander. And then we'll do the Efrit Salamander one shot battles um, just to show you how that works. All right. So we pair these up right there. Grab this, put this right there. Now we stack Efrit Efrit together and we try and take on Ninja Salamander. 
All right, lock this bad boy into place, this heavy Mamma Jamba. All right. And, oh yeah, I need to do the other direction for the spin track. So give me just one second. Oh, I guess I didn't need to spin that off there. I always get confused on these spin tracks sometimes because it's just like, which way... I dropped the face bolt. Which way does the, uh, the middle piece come off? for the spin track. Okay, I'm having a hard time here. There we go. Okay, the face bolt is back on. Boom. We take this bad boy and then we flip it the other direction. There we go. I might have to try El Drago with this spin track. I think that would be pretty fun. Um, yeah, I think that would be pretty fun with El Drago, especially my Medio. All right, three, two, one, and Efrit, Efrit. Hopefully it doesn't lose control. Oh man, it just lost control into the pocket. All right, let's try one more time, see if we can get a decent battle. I'm gonna try more of an angled launch just to uh the problem with salamander is it doesn't move a whole lot and efrit's one of those yeah efrit's one of those bays as soon as it gets hot, hit hard it's off center and it's trying to do that upper uh like an upper attack and it's trying to come up underneath and do this motion um so it's very it's it gets very unstable very fast all right, so now let's take our bay parts, put our, ooh, you know what? We will, instead of doing, um, sorry, I lost my train of thought. Instead of doing um, Samurai Ifrit, we will do Ninja Ifrit. And I will show you how Ninja Ifrit stacks up to um, Ifrit Salamander. <laughs> or I guess a Samurai Ef uh, Nin S Salamander Ifrit. Yeah, it's, yeah, it'd be Salamander Ifrit because the first wheel is the pronunciation of the bay. Salamander Ifrit for the zero G combo. Now, another one I would like to do when I get there is I would like to do Salamander stacked up on um, Ronin Dragoon. Is it Drago or Dragoon? I think it's Dragoon. Uh, Ronio Dragoon would be a pretty cool idea just because the warrior wheels are very similar in shape. And honestly, I see that really, really complimenting um, so yeah, I'll definitely have to see how that works when we get there. So hopefully I remember. All right. So yeah, now we have Ninja Ifrit in the mix. Um, then we've got our Salamander Ifrit. Now we're going to go down the line, do some one shot battles and then call it a wraps for this video. So hopefully. So far, so hopefully, so far, I hope you are enjoying this video. Inferno Sagittario. And there we go. First win. Now we're going on to Spiral Fox. I'm just about messed up the launch order. By Rip. <laughs> Spiral Fox taking center, doing basically a, um, basically like a counter attack after the main attack and throw in Salamander Efrit into the pocket. All right, now we got Cosmic Pegasus, probably one of my favorite Pegasus. 
well, Pegasi blades is due to the fact that it's the red and blue. Either way, it's going to be two, two attack types. gonna be all right our second win now el drago actually i think i'm gonna move el drago into its other into its barrage mode so going from spin steel to barrage or is that yeah yeah we're going into barrage now so We'll lock this back into place, give it a little nudge, and we are doing Medio El Drago with Barrage. We'll launch El Drago first. Our Salamander Ifrit. Fix that camera angle there for you guys. Can El Drago pull off a win? Does El Drago pull off a win, you guys? El Drago pulls off the win. Yes. <laughs> I love El Drago, you guys. All right. I know I said one shot, but because El Drago's got two modes and we're doing the Synchrome, let's put it back into Spin Steel and, uh, you know, we'll uh, go from there. And then we'll continue on. But El Drago gets its first win against the Synchrome mess. Actually, it did beat a free, a free, a free in uh, the last video. So it's second win against the Synchrome Bay. That just tells you how good Meteo El Drago was. Especially, like I said, if you put um, bearing on it from um, Orion, dude, you're you're just and you put it in spin still mode, you're just it's game over. <laughs> Three, two, one. And as long as El Drago is making the flower pattern while it's hitting, it should take another win. Oh, okay. So we got a tiebreaker. We'll give El Drago a redemption shot in the current mode it's in. Uh, El Drago needs to launch first. Three, two, one. <laughs> That is the issue. That is the issue with some of these synchrome bays, though, is they are heavy. That it does shake the stadium. So let's try that again. That is my bad. Three, two, one. Can El Drago take a win? That's all I'm curious about. We did get... Oh, ooh, what's happening? What's happening? No, nope, Salamander Ifrit. All right, so El Drago did take a win, but then it did lose in the last two rounds. Now we're doing Ninja Ifrit facing off against Salamander Ifrit. All right. Three, two, one. <laughs> Ninja Ifrit finds its way to the pocket, but we did have some good, some good run time there before that happened. All right, let's try this again. Ninja Ifrit. All right, let's give this one last shot because we need content. We want content in the form of actual base. Clashing three, two, one. There we go. There's the content we want, and a ring out finish 
for Nin uh, Salamander Efrit. Very nice. All right, so I promised you guys we'll get into that scale test here real quick. Let's do that. Let's move the stadium out of the way, and I will show you how much this bad bay weighs. So Salamander Efrit, right? We are at zeroed out on the scale. Let's zoom in real quick. There you go. You can see that we're zeroed out right here. Boom. 66.6 grams. This is heavier than Efrit Efrit. So 66.6 grams, you guys. So let's take it apart now. And then we will weigh um, Salamander Efrit. I mean, not Salamander Efrit. Um, Ninja Salamander on its own. So here's that. We have our warrior wheel for our Efrits. I'm gonna put Efrit back together real quick. So just bear with me um, while I do that. Yeah, no, I know a lot of you guys are huge Metal Fight fans. And like I said, with me loving Shogun Steel, I just, I figured I was like, hey, let's please, let's crowd please the audience and at least do some more Metal Fight content. Because I know in the past you guys wanted more Metal Fight content. I just had none to offer you. So that's why you have yet to see any Metal Fight um, up until now. So I will be bringing more Metal Fight. I found a set of brand new Shogun Steel Beyblades that I do not have um, up for sale. So I will be possibly buying those um, either next week or the week after. And that way we can get some more Metal Fight content out. Um, and then I do have some more Beyblade X content as well. So now we have Ninja Salamander. All right. 41.6 grams, you guys. That is heavier than Samurai Efrit by almost a gram, if I remember right. Almost two grams. Almost two grams heavier. That is crazy. All right, guys. So, yeah, this was my video on Ninja Salamander. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, please continue to hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. And as always, Three, two, one, let it rip. Have a great day, everyone.